is Thursday of the Daily Draw and I'm back and I'm going to be doing the draw with grandparents today. First of all, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who is joining in and drawing with their grandparents on their aunts. It's so lovely to hear that you're doing it and it just, it warms mine and mum's heart. So thank you so much. But today we're going to be drawing a strawberry. So let's get on to that. So in this picture, we are going to do three strawberries. We've got one whole strawberries and then we've got two that are behind and they're overlapping a bit. So what I want to start with is that whole strawberry. And we want to start kind of between halfway and a quarter of the page, kind of a third in. And I'm just going to do a curve like that. And I'm going to bring it down and I want to do these arches. So we have one here and just bring it down like that. Once you've done that line there, actually this kind of goes into a bit of a straight line just down towards the bottom of the strawberry. And then we bring it just so there's a wee curve in it, just like that. And I'm then going to do the second one, which goes here. And I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So this one's actually a strawberry, which has been cut open, I believe. And so we've got that big, it almost reminds me of a love heart. So if we join those up there, it would just look like a love heart. And then the bit that comes behind it, which we're just going to join up to the second, the first strawberry we did as well. And then the third one, I want this to be a really big strawberry. And I want it to have a little peak at the top, just like this. And then curving around again just like that and that is our first stage in our basic shapes now looking back at it i actually think i'm going to make this one a bit bigger so i'm going to rub out this bit here and i'm going to join it up again very similar to what i just did and I'm going to try and make this strawberry a wee bit bigger. And it's kind of lying flat along the floor. Just like this. And then going to put in the leaves on all of them. I'm going to start with this one because this one actually has four little triangles. So two kind of in the middle and then two on either side of those. And then from there, from between the, these two triangles at the end, what we're going to do is put in one big leaf like that. Between these two, we're going to do an even bigger one. And then between these two, which actually overlaps completely. If you have a, when, when you pause, you can see the guide sheet and you can see exactly where they fit together. And then on this one, I'm just going to do one leaf coming up like that. A second one going up. And then this one I want to point towards this direction. So I'm going to do like that. And then this one, last one is a wee bit weird. And we're going to come a big curve just like that. And then we're going to point it out to there. So it's got a big, beautiful curve. And we're going to join it up just with a little line there. And then on this one, all we're going to do is two. And they look kind of like horns. So we're going to bring them up like that for one. And then on the other side, just like that. And I think they look like horns. That is our second step. And if you want to put in those shapes now, pause it and have a look. So as well as these three leaves here, the first thing we're going to do on this one is add in two more leaves, one on either side. And this one also has a tiny wee spike in there as well. And then another little small one on this side. Now we've got these two horns and we're going to add in another horn, but it's really just a leaf behind there. And very similar to this leaf here, we're going to do them and have them come out like that. And this one go out like that. And that is all the leaves that we need to do. Then I'm going to come onto this strawberry and because it's cut in the inside, we're going to see the inside of the strawberry rather than the pip shapes. 
So what I'm going to start by doing is drawing, it looks kind of like a gateway type shape just there. And then from around that, I'm going to do two lines just surrounding it. And from there, I'm going to take out some little lines just coming out, like little tunnels. And what we can do is we can curve the shape in between. So instead of having a straight line, I've got some curves. Just like that. And then I'm going to rub out the wee lines in between. I'll just quickly go over that. And that is the inside of the strawberry. When I drew this the first time, I thought it looked really weird. But I promise you, once we put the watercolour paint pencils on, it looks so much better. I'm now going to finish with a couple of flowers. We're just going to do a circle for where we want them to go. And if they go off the page, that is fine as well. I'm going to do this one a bit bigger. And when we do the petals, we don't want them to touch either of the petals and we don't want them to touch the middle. And then around the circle, we're just going to do some little tiny mini circles as well. And on this one, I'm going to do one. I'm going to take it off the page. And I'm going to make it go behind there. And don't forget these little circles around, which we're going to do in this beautiful yellow ochre colour. So that is the finished picture for the drawing. I'm going to go on and use watercolour pencils to paint it. If you don't have watercolour pencils, you can still watch anyway and you can use your crayons or your paints or your normal pencils and have a go as well. So really hope you enjoyed that and let's get on to the painting. The first thing I'm going to do is take my bright red watercolour pencil and I'm going to outline all the strawberries and I'm going to outline this mark here because it is sort of the outside of the strawberry. I'm really sorry if you can hear our dog barking in the background. He can see people walking past I think. So I'm going to go over the marks that we made in this bit and this little archway here I'm going to colour that in and I'm also going to do just a couple of little shapes with the red as well. I'm then going to colour in really lightly this strawberry. I'm going halfway out my pencil and I'm making sure that my marks are so light and they don't have to cover every bit of it. I actually want this bit to be a bit darker because it's in the shade and so I'm going to do that and then with this one this top strawberry, what I'm going to do is make a few little marks which are going to represent the pips and I'm going to do those quite hard. I'm then going to leave quite a lot of white space whilst doing this one because I want this one to have lots of like shading. So I've done some marks around here. I'd really love to see how you guys interpret this and I really want to see what you do with these strawberries. This one I'm going to put even more white space and I'm going to leave that whole bit blank and then put in, similar to before, just a few red marks. I'm then going to come in with my brown and around here, which is a wee bit of a darker bit, I'm going to do some brown. This bit down here, I'm going to use that really hard because we want this bit to be a lot darker. Now, the pencil that I'm using is raw sienna or burnt sienna? Burn sienna. There is difference. Anyway, it's a really ready brown. So when I mix those two together with my paintbrush, what you'll see, it's just slightly darker red and it's different from the really bright colours that I used in the junior one. It just makes it a bit more sophisticated. I'm going to use a bigger brush as well. So I'm going to first of all go around the outline and make sure that I get all the bits which are coloured in. 
And I'm then gonna clean my brush, make sure it doesn't have any red on it, and just do that middle section, which hopefully looks a wee bit lighter. And I'm gonna do the same here. Go around the outline that we put in. And then around the colored bits. And then clean my brush and just go in here and hopefully it looks a wee bit lighter. With this bit, the section that we've left white on the inside of the strawberry, we are not going to paint that at all. We're just gonna leave that as the paper. And then this small shape in the middle, I hope you can see that. I'm gonna turn that to paint as well. And then hopefully this section here, because we use quite a lot of brown, going to come up darker which it is I hope you can see that on the camera once we've done that I'm going to move on to do the flowers which I'm going to do in yellow ochre and gray I'm going to use yellow ochre for the middle bit just like that and I'm going to outline the marks that we already had in gray and I'm going to do this really really strong I'm just going to try to be a bit careful when I go around that strawberry. So really dark grey marks and I'm not going to colour it in because I want the grey to be a lighter kind of grey. Then yellow for the inside of the flower. And I'm going to use my little brush for this one just because especially this flower is quite tiny. And I, what I hope you can see is that even though the lines of the outline of the flower do not touch, because we're using watercolours or watercolour pencils, they all join together when I move my brush. And I'm going to do the circle there as well. And the final thing that we need to do is the leaves. So I'm going to use a combination of these two greens. I'm gonna outline the strawberry. Just like that, mine's still a wee bit wet. And if yours is wet, then please just let it dry and then come back to it. So all those marks that we did, feels like ages ago we did them. And then these small triangles, I'm gonna do those in the darker green as well. And then I'm going to do very lightly bits of this dark green. And then in some sections, I'm just going to add a wee bit of light. Not everywhere. Just where you think it will look quite nice. And then gonna, I'm going to use my biggest brush. And hopefully these two greens will merge. And it's very similar to what we did on the bluebell, if you remember doing that. We used two different blues, no, two different greens, sorry, to do this stem. Now, these amazing watercolour pencils are available on the Little Art School shop. So if anyone is watching this and has done this for a few weeks and is now thinking that they're really enjoying it and would like to order some, pencils so that you can follow along with these steps that we're doing. They're available at the Little Art School shop and they are honestly fantastic. And the paper is available there too because you need to use these watercolour pencils with very special thick paper. And that is our finished strawberry. I really hope you enjoy it and that is how we paint it. enjoyed that as much as I did. I know I loved drawing those strawberries and now I really want to go eat strawberries and cream for lunch. I really hope you send us your pictures either through Facebook or Instagram. I'd really love to see them and I know mum would too. And um, please join us tomorrow where mum will be teaching a very special VE Day celebration design. So I really hope you can come along.